Hi everyone, today we're painting a ladybug. We'll try to apply very basic techniques, like my old friend the beer stencil, tone mixing and creating very fine highlights. Like the last lesson on this page, the apple, this lesson is also very basic and meant to help you get more familiar with the spray can. Don't worry, in the near future we'll get to much more advanced and thrilling project, but don't underestimate the power of this ladybug. As you can see, I started this painting with creating a background as opposed to the lesson of the apple. I start with the background because we're gonna spray a lot of paint and if I'll tend to it after painting the ladybug, there's every possibility that the overspray will contaminate her. This also gives me the freedom to make the gradient and the shapes in my background. For my background, I'm using a couple of green tones to create the feeling of tangle of leaves. This highlight over here is definitely not white. It's kind of gray. Um, the color is gale green. This is a big highlight and I want it to be just a very tiny line. So even though now it's thick, I just go over it with the black. And you can see went down to very little line. I can use my stencil in another way. If I want to define this area in the head, I can put a stencil over here. It, it uh, creates a barrier and I can spray a little bit of the gray in here. As you can see, we want some part to be very um, sharp, very crisp, like the raw part of the back, and some parts to be very fading, very uh, out of focus. Like the ladybug's filler. Um, yeah, we are getting very close to the surface of the painting, working with the, with the back part of the cat pressing the back part of the cap and walking extremely close. I'm going over the highlights with the black just to sharpen the line and make it thinner. Now we're gonna try and replicate the water drop on the back of the bug. This drop is behaving like a polish. You can see that it highlights the black and the red color of the ladybug. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. The little white highlights creates the illusion of reflection from the drop. So, thanks for tuning in today. Hope you liked this lesson. If you did, please tell me in the comments below. Bye bye guys. 